In this video, we are going to discuss about system software. The system software acts as an interface between the computer, the hardware parts of the computer and the user, user like you and me. Now why this interface is required? Because we speak in language called English or you could be speaking in some other language but the machine understands, the computer understands only one language which is the binary language, zeros and ones. Now if I am speaking in English and the computer un does not understand English, what is to be done? An interpreter is required, an interface is required. The system software acts as such an interface. It converts all our instructions, the instructions that we are giving in English into a machine understandable form. For this work, there are different types of system softwares, operating system, language processors and device drivers. Let's see what these softwares do. Operating system, it is responsible for functioning of all the different hardware parts. As you know, a computer has got a CPU, it has got keyboard, mouse, printer, video, so many hardware parts. Operating system is required so that these hardware parts can function properly, they can follow our instructions. Operating system is always the first software that is loaded into the system when we switch on our computer. So operating system is always very very important. If your system does not have an operating system, it will not work because operating system manages the mem memory, the processor, the speed with which it will work, the file and many other different tasks that we will be discussing in another video. Now let's see what a language processor is. As I discussed just now with you, the computer language is different and our language is different. So when it comes to human and machine interactions, we can have three types of languages. Machine level language, simple strings of zeros and ones, the binary language that the computer understand. Then assembly level language, a bit above that we have mnemonics. We have small words that will tell the computer what to do instead of zeros and ones. High level languages, English like languages that we are used to, the programming languages, they are written in high level languages. So these are the three languages. What a language processor will do? Language processor will convert a high level language into an assembly level language or a machine level language that the computer can understand easily. For this processing, there are three types of languages, assembler, interpreter and compiler. What does an assembler do? It will convert an assembly level program into machine level program. Remember that at the end, the program, the instructions have to be in the machine level language so that the computer can carry out those instructions. What does an interpreter do? It will convert the high level programs the programs that we write, that we understand into a machine level program line by line. Each line would be converted into machine level language. What does a compiler do? Compiler will again convert the high level language into a machine level language but rather than doing it line by line, it will do it at a one go. We will be discussing all these in a little bit more detail in a further video. Let's come to device drivers. As the name suggests, the device driver will take care of all the devices that are attached to the computer so that these devices will function properly like a printer or a fax machine that is attached then device drivers will be used for that. Now I told you just now that operating system is the software that handles all the devices. So what does the device driver do? Operating system will interact with the device drivers so that these devices will work properly. When you attach a new device, you will need to install its driver so that the operating system will know that how that device is to be managed whenever the user sends a request. So in this video, we have understood how a system software works, what are the different types of system softwares. In our next video, we are going to discuss about the application software.